Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to download and install Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Now, the first thing you will need to play Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is the original Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 uses the graphics from the original game. So, you uh, cannot currently cannot play it uh, without having the original. So, uh, you can either buy it on uh, Steam, that's a good location to get it. Uh, I believe you can also get it on Discord. And you could, for example, also get it on uh, GOG.com. Uh, here you can see it in the store. It now costs $8.29, but sometimes it's on sale and then you can get it for uh, even cheaper. So yeah, just to go on one of those uh, websites, buy the game, download and install it. And that's the first step to playing uh, Open RCT2. So when you've done this, um, then you have to go to openrct2.org, which is the website for uh, roller Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Then you go to Downloads, and then there are several ways uh, for you to download and install the game. So here you can see uh, releases, development builds, automatic updates. The easiest way to download and uh, install the game is by using the launcher. So here you can, under automatic updates, you can see a link to launcher for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. And here you can simply take the version that you have. Most people will have 64-bit uh, Windows. So then just take openrc 2 launcher win.exe. But if you have a Linux, Mac OS or 32-bit uh, uh, Windows version, then uh, you can s select one of the others. So um, I will just take this executable and download it. Okay, I have uh, downloaded the, the installer for the launcher, so now I will run it. Uh, it wants to install the game in program, or it wants to install the launcher in program files. Doesn't really matter where you install it. Okay, the launcher has now been installed. I've made a shortcut on my desktop. So now let's run the launcher. As you can see, the launcher is. Uh, has this progress bar here. It's now downloading the game uh, for us. If we go under options here, you can uh, select release or develop. I always recommend putting it on develop. It means it will always download the newest uh, version for you that's in development. And basically, I, it will usually have all the newest functionalities that are implemented by the Opera Locus Tycoon 2 uh, developers. Uh, release is usually a slightly older version um, and yeah it's uh for example when there's a new track uh, which uh, is implemented uh, like for now now for example there's the single rail coaster which just has been added it's uh, not in the release version yet but it will be in develop and then usually after a few weeks or months a new release version gets released i always recommend playing on uh, the develop build Okay, it has uh, finished uh, downloading and installing the game for us. So, uh, and now we can uh, simply play it. Okay, just turning the, the sound down for the game. But yeah, now you can, uh, can uh, play the game. Okay, um, if we go to our documents folder, um, if, if we just installed the, the game through the launcher. So if we go to our, op, our documents folder, you can see the OpenRCT2 folder here that has just been created. Um, in this folder, we can see a folder named bin. And in that is the Excel executable for the, for the game. So um, I will uh, empty out this folder. So if you don't want to uh, use the launcher, then you can also uh, download the download a build from uh, from the OpenRCT2 website. So you can either get a release build or you can get a development build. Uh, like I said, I always recommend uh, getting a development build. So here, this is the latest uh, version. Now, sometimes when a when a version has just been updated, then uh, sometimes there won't be a uh, Windows version ready yet. So if that happens, then it's best to just go to all recent developed builds and just take the second one or the third one and just take the highest one that has a uh, Windows uh, version. 
Now here I will just take the most recent one and I, I will just get the portable zip. And why? Well, I, I see that I have already uh, downloaded the the most uh, recent build because it's already here in my downloads folder. So I will just use that instead of downloading it again. Okay, then we go to the downloads. And here we can see the, the folder. And in this folder, you can see the contents of the, of the bin file that we checked earlier. So um, I will simply extract this zip file. And after that, uh, I'll uh, show you what to do with these files. Okay, the file is unzipped. Well, I actually already had an unzipped version of the folder. It uh, took a while, so I skipped over that. So in this folder here, you can see uh, some files. We'll simply uh, copy these files. And in our documents folder, well, here we have this empty OpenRCT tool folder that we created. I will just make a folder here named bin. Normally the launcher does that for you. And here I will paste the files that we just uh, unzipped. All right, so now we have this openrt 2 folder, which is uh, pretty much empty. There's this bin in here. And here we can double click openrt 2exe I'll just ignore this warning. And there we go, now we can uh, play the game. Now, um, as you can see, it has now filled this folder with uh, with several uh, different folders. I will uh, explain uh, what these folders uh, all contain in a, in a later video. Now, uh, what do we do if we want to update the game? Well, if you want to update the game and not go through the launcher, uh, you can simply go to, the, to this website again and just select a different uh, build. Just download the portable zip. And then you get a folder, and then the contents of that folder, you simply, uh, yeah, you can simply remove these files in bin, and then uh, the contents of the folder, you simply paste in, in your bin folder, and then you have a new version of the game. Okay, um, sometimes when a uh, build is, uh, or when the game is being updated, um, sometimes the launcher, um, will have a grayed out play button that usually happens when there's no uh, windows built yet in the most recent build that has been uh, put on the website so what i always uh, recommend is uh, well you have a shortcut to the launcher here but what i recommend is also going to your uh, bin folder in your open 2 folder here you see the executable we do send to desktop and we create a shortcut for it. So now you can either choose to start the game through the launcher or you can simply open the game directly. Okay, um, I hope this uh, video is useful for you. I hope this uh, clears up some things. It uh, really isn't that difficult to uh, to get started with Open Rollercast Tycoon 2. In the coming videos uh, I will explain more of the features that this game has. Alright? I hope this video was useful for you and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.